Insurers are likely breathing a sigh of relief at the Olympics opening ceremonies kicking off. After all, it means the games are actually happening. Fitch Ratings Agency estimates there's about $2.5 billion of insurance coverage on the Olympics, coverage of $1.4 billion for the International Olympic Committee and the Tokyo Organizing Committee, $800 million estimated taken out by the broadcasters, and $300 million in coverage for sports teams, sponsors, hospitality, and others. Banning spectators will cost between $300 million and $400 million in refunded tickets and hospitality costs, according to Fitch. The local Olympics organizing committee reportedly will have to bear the brunt of that, having exhausted its coverage simply because the games were postponed. And we know the postponement itself cost hundreds of millions of dollars paid out by the reinsurance companies. Could have been worse. If the Olympics had been canceled altogether, it would have meant the largest losses for insurers from a single event shutting down ever. COVID and its impact on big events will change the way insurance works in the future, the way risks are assessed and how much coverage costs. Already, new policies exclude payouts for events that get canceled because of communicable diseases. Frank? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.